So a quick video to test something that may or, or may not work. I've got here a 3DFX Voodoo 2, the, the legendary 3D accelerator released back in 1998. And then separately here, I have an HP Compaq thin client PC with a PCI slot here. So I'm going to try and fit these together and give this a go, see if it's gonna work. So first I'll get this adapter plug this thing in and then it fits in like this there we go nice and secure I'll plug all the wires in power this thing up install the drivers see if this works okay so we're plugged in and the drivers are installed okay. We're using the 3DFX Zone Fast Voodoo Community drivers. These went on pretty easily, really without a hitch, installed first time. And we've also got some games installed to try out the 3DFX Glide support. So let's try out Quake 2. Okay, next up, let's try Unreal. As you can see, performance is really good, averaging over 60 frames per second at 640 by 480 high settings. Performance is so good, in fact, that it actually beats Unreal's Direct3D renderer running on the built-in Radeon 7000 hardware. This was a real surprise, especially since the Radeon 7000 debuted a full three years after the launch of Voodoo 2, and more often competes with the original GeForce in performance versus the Voodoo. I wanted to see if this was a one-off, so I switched back to Quake 2, to compare the glide performance there versus the Radeon OpenGL renderer. Surprisingly, it's another victory for the Voodoo. The 3DFX tech demos work well too. Here's the famous donut demo. Lastly, I want to try the 3DFX DOS support. So reboot, and let's try out the 3DFX Tomb Raider demo. I forgot how good this looked actually. I'm used to the PlayStation version, but really this 3DFX demo it's fantastic looking, it holds up really, really well. Okay, some closing thoughts. I'm surprised by this experiment in a few ways. First, that it actually works at all. Often projects like this are a mess of incompatible hardware and frustration. But this worked first time, it was easy, almost too easy. I really enjoyed my time playing with the Voodoo 2 and the performance was exceptional. This card truly deserves its legendary status. I'll spend some more time playing with this, but that's all for the video. Hope you enjoyed this walk down memory lane. Thanks for watching.